How's it going, guys? Um, I have a guide uh, that I made before, and it was to do with the Elder Chaos droids, and this is a similar method, but it's using melee this time. So, when we go to my stats, you know, you can you can do this as a pure, you can do this with really any stats. What you gotta have is uh, 37 prayer for protect from magic, you know, because that's what they use, the Elder Chaos droids. Um, what you can wear, since it is a high risk spot for PKers, you can wear, like, I just wear monk robes, I bring my unholy book, Staff of the Dead, uh, Fire Cape, you know, you can substitute that with pretty much anything. Um, strength Ami for low, uh, low cost, I don't want to entice people to kill me because I have expensive shit on, but at the same time... There's people that are going to just kill you just because they log in and they want to just fucking... They're just hungry for blood, so that's just that. I got the Mitri on. Mitri, Matra, whatever the f hell you want to say that. Um, so my uh, total prayer bonus... Okay, that was a fucking uh, brain fart. Um, sorry. Uh, total prayer bonus is 23. Um, that's pretty well... It's pretty good. It, it makes it so you don't have to run to the altar all the time. So it makes it a little more AFK. So yeah, guys, so what you're going to have for an inventory, you're going to want to have some combat pots, um, some one-click tellies, doesn't really matter where, it's just, if it gets you the fuck, if it gets you odor there, then the better it is. Um, so yeah, burning amulet for the quick teleport, and some, just some, a few decent healing food, you don't need to fill your whole inventory, because you're going to be getting lots of herbs and loot, so yeah, and if you don't have a looting bag, you will get one there. Um, once you kill them, you'll get one in probably 10, 20 minutes, so yeah. So we're gonna, when you're ready to go, you're geared up, you got a low cost setup on, I have the Staff of the Dead, right? Um, what you're gonna wanna do is before you go there and do anything to stop you from getting skull tricked, you're gonna wanna go on your player attack options and click, always right click, so you don't... Skull trick on some fucking low scum asshole and get PK'd for your fucking bang. So yeah, so you're going to want to teleport to Chaos Temple. And you're going to want to be wary. I'm teleporting in World 5, so there's a chance there could be people there. But at the same time, I don't really give a fuck. Okay, there's nobody here. So as soon as you get here, you're going to want to protect from magic. You're going to want to run in. Take a sip of your pot. Usually what I do is I just... I kind of just gather them up a bit, and I go to this 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 area here, just because it's closer to the altar, and I don't have to run yards away. So we're gonna try to stick around this area, even though PKers, it'll be a little more accessible for PKers to kill me. That's all right. Uh, what I usually do for strength, I just put on superhuman strength. Uh, it's a 10% increase. It doesn't drain my prayer as fast as superhuman strength or ultimate strength. Sorry. So yeah, it works out pretty well. You'll get from 50k to 80k-ish experience an hour. It's all depending on your gear and what setup you use. Um, you know, it really comes down to what you want to do. This method and this location, I would say for alternative methods that aren't Nightmare Zone, this method comes in pretty high. Like I think rock or sand crabs comes in pretty close, but this is better. Obviously more risk here, but you do have a chance of getting the chaos or the elder chaos droid robes. So they're a good ticket item to get. You also get hard clues, which are nice. Gives you time to leave the training spot and go do something else. And uh, they drop lots of rain arrows and herbs, so. Just make, just keep your eye out for herbs because that's where you're gonna be making a little bit of money here, um, which makes it a good viable spot for people that are like semi broke and are just looking for an extra bit of change and maybe looking to make some profit from melee. So, you know, it's not green dragons, but it's good XP and there's an altar right here. So, you know, it is it's semi AFK. You're gonna want to keep your eye out for PKers. You know, if you don't, if you're not really looking for profit here and you're just looking for AFK and XP, I mean, you can just AFK right fucking at this entrance. It's where I used to AFK because you just got to have that quick walk right to the altar. Sometimes they'll teleport you, but uh, usually you're okay. 
So I just stand around here. I don't want to be. I don't want to fuck with it out here. Uh, so yeah, you will get PK'd seldomly. I mean, there's better times to do this than others, but just just be aware and use your head. And great XP rates will follow. Um, so yeah, guys, it's pretty versatile. This setup, you can pretty well do it on any account that has 37 prayer. Uh, you need obviously decent stern attack level to, you know what I mean, hit on them, but. Yeah, guys, it's a basic guide, and it's an it's an alternative method that people know about but might not fully understand. Uh, this is a different method than what I made a video on before, but here it is, guys. I hope this benefits you. Have a great day. Subscribe, like, rate, and comment so I can know what I can do better next time, guys. Have a good one. See you next time. Peace.